The chi square problem is very simple. This is the question given to you. We have to arrange the elements. Just uh, this is step one. So we just rearrange it. X goes here. This is the x in the column. So goes a row wise. Eighty, fifty, and y is twenty fifty. You can see here. This is the first step. Second step is we uh, we call it zero uh, O and E. This is O and E, and uh, we directly subtract O and E. So eighty minus fifty is thirty, and twenty minus fifty is minus thirty. And then we calculate O minus E, the whole square. So thirty. Square is nine hundred and minus thirty again negative negative becomes positive nine hundred. Now O uh, minus E the whole square that is this value divided by E that is the this value. So each of the row will have nine hundred by fifty and here nine hundred by fifty again that is the E value. And which comes out to be eighteen. Now we need the summation of this column. So sum of this column would be eighteen plus eighteen, that is thirty six. Now after this value, we have some calculations to make. You can see this is the formula. We have directly got the answer from the table itself. This is summation of O minus E square by E. That is the sum of this value. That is thirty six. We don't have to apply any formula over separately. Now we go to directly uh, step four after this step. That is finding your D F value. And what is the df value? Is number of rows minus one and number of columns minus one and multiplication. So number of rows are two minus one into number of columns two minus one again. So that is one into one, which is one. So your df value is one. Now we have to do something with this df value. We have a log table given in. Uh, we will be given in the exam too. There will be a log table. What we have to look for is. You have to remember this zero point zero five. I'm sorry, is zero point zero five in the table? Yes, it will be uh, written in the column heading somewhere. Zero point zero five will be written, and here all the values will be written one, two, three, four, and so on. So on the row wise, you will see zero point zero five, and column wise, we have to find the DF as one, which we have received over here. So one. Is this and across you search for zero point zero five, you will get this value. So then we write down three point eight four one is the value of DF of one. But what we have got here is thirty six. So thirty six is greater than three point eight four one value. When this is the case, since the calculated value is more, then what you have is null hypothesis is rejected. So this is rejected. And if it was less, maybe somewhere it was two point six. So if it was less than three point eight four, then null hypothesis would be. Accepted. So we have to write down this conclusion that when the uh, calculated value is greater than 
what we just found out for the df is more than that then the null hypothesis is rejected and if it is less then it is accepted